uh, and very humbled by, by the fact that uh, something little that was started in 2016 has gotten to this extent and to the fact that it's it's um, creating impact than what I could have envisaged um, when I, I wanted to do this. So um, I think in 2016, um, I went to my first Wikimania and I met this handsome gentleman on this call called Stefan. And, <laughs> and Stefan was then, um, is the CEO was and is still the CEO of Keywords. And so um, I think I happened to be in a session where the presentation on Keywords was done. And immediately I started asking myself like, doesn't this benefit my community? How can I bring this down to my people uh, to create value for uh, the people that I wanna serve? And I almost immediately realized that it, it complements what we've been striving to do. In the open movement, we care about free and accessibility to information and knowledge. And this is what Keywords gives. It gives just that Keywords even does this in a much more um, uh, streamlined way that provides access to people beyond just the internet. And so we we tried this out, as he said, in 2016 in a school in the northern part of Ghana. And we had over between 800 to 1,200 students. I mean, there were a lot of students, we didn't count them. And so we, we, could, we could not pinpoint exactly how many people we had in the room, but certainly over a thousand people. And we sort of like modeled this whole Kiwich training, trained uh, the lecturers um, uh, in the high school, installed um, the software on the computer. And then we sort of like tested and see what was gonna happen. So I think in the span of three months, we did a research. Uh, we sent a survey back to the school just to understand how people interacted with the product and how what, what value it created for them and stuff like that. And we realized that um, some of the Wikimedia projects like Wikishnari and Wikipedia were actually being, Wikishnari was competing with Wikipedia actually. It was being used more than Wikipedia was being used. And that was because these students wanted means and ways to access simple resources like a dictionary and they just could not afford to do that. And so we, we noticed that this is like, even though it's not a one size fits all approach, it's an approach that actually serves our, our communities. And I always say as a Wikimedia or as a volunteer, when you are streamlining or designing your projects or programs, you always have to think about how does it impact my communities? How can I bring that high level um, project or campaign or program that has been run in other regions down into my, my context or in my region to be able to implement it in a way that benefits the people that are from my part of the world. And so I think, Having that approach to QX actually helped us scale the work that we did with QX. And after that training, I mean, it's it's hard trying to break the circles and going to schools and trying to get them on board. And so we've, we've been trying, hitting on knocking, knocking on doors, trying to see how best we could do this. Um, and I think in somewhere in 2018 or 2019, um, I did a host of trainings. Uh, at the time, I think OpenCon, um, it was a project by, um, um, an organization in, I think, Canada. And uh, we ran our first open cons in Ghana. So we did a few satellite activities and we did some trainings in Kumasi, we did some trainings in Accra, in Tamale. Long story short, we were able to train a few people who were also inspired by what the possibilities of QX. And so they took this a step further and actually did it in schools. Um, and uh, I think at the time, where the people was beginning to learn, oh, this actually empowers our people to be able to do what they want to do. And in a way, it was giving volunteers an opportunity to do something that they loved. Uh, as you may have already um, learned, and by being in the Wikimedia space, you realize that people only contribute to Wikipedia based on your interests. And it's the same thing. People develop projects or run projects or, or programs based on what they are passionately driven to do. And so I think that training drove a lot of people to actually start other QX projects in other parts of the country. And today, it's a whole program at Open Foundation West Africa that is um, continuously um, providing resources in the, in the hands of people, students who cannot afford um, educational resources in the classroom, and also bringing them resources beyond their textbooks, like Wikipedia, Wikishnary, Wikiquotes, and all of these other projects that we curate and support within the Wikimedia space. So I am very elated to be here with all of you, and I'm even more elated to hear that this is breaking the ice um, by extending the project beyond the shores of Ghana. I can't wait to see what you guys will do with this project. And I believe Stefan and the other panelists have a lot more to say to what I've just shared. So thank you very much for being here. And I'm super inspired, humbled, 
by by a little feat um, that got us here. Thank you.